the double-double against Arizona State in the last game. But he's no Ryan Colkbrenner. I'll tell you that. Olivia Maxence Prosper falling down and knocks down the three-point shot. And Shireman for the lay-in. Lisa, you, you were talking about what McDermott was saying about the losses. Nice job there by Marquette. But he's as comfortable on the perimeter as well. First three-point make. Seven points now for Shireman. And the answer, how about it? Ben Cold. And Kolek retains here for the Golden Eagles. Jones out to Joplin. That's his shot. Osper nearly had a steal and a turnover. Three-point edge here for Marquette. There's your turnover. Kolek. On the break to Prosper. Wow. Tough two to make. Mark. Alley oop look, a little bit off the mark for Kaluma. Couldn't handle. A 15 to 2 Marquette run. Look out. Right down the lane. And five serve form like him that. So that's a very difficult three to hit. And you see the three point shooting numbers. Creighton struggling. 22% here in this first half. Throwing it up. Kits the end one for John Jones downs tomorrow Saturday night so conference season definitely opening up first possession in the first let Kolek drains the three-point shot another opportunity though for Marquette also got his hands on that couldn't corral himself but gave his teammate a chance oh, wow circus shot and Camp Jones Kaluma tried the crossover loses it here's Stevie Mitchell who takes it with a thunderous one-handed hammer on defense it's that five position that that works as the big communication spot for the Blue Jays defense that they miss in particular with Colt Brenner and the turnaround falls for Sean Jones now eight to shoot and Jones tips it from behind he gets it right back Cam Jones challenging flips it up with the body control they're there right in January and February yeah, they had some key losses early in these late minutes here in this game. Still some time to work with, 12 to shoot. Ross takes it all the way inside.